All right, students, this is going to be a short video on uh, multiplying three binomials. Uh, you saw this on the 3.2 uh, homeworks. So, oh, 3.2, there it is. Um, so on the 3.2 homeworks, you need to multiply three binomials. That's something like x plus 3, x plus 5, and we'll throw in a number here, 2x plus 1. Okay, something like that. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. So if you look on the internet, let's pause this for a second. We'll go flip to the internet. Okay, so if you search for this on the internet, here's FOIL. Okay, um, which is just one binomial times another binomial. The whole idea is there's four things there, uh, four terms, A, B, C, D. So all four need to get multiplied. If you check for what we're about to do, it looks outrageous. Um, this is really, really confusing, and uh, that's why I want to try and do a video to help you out. So it does not need to be like this. Uh, it can be a lot easier. That's why I want to help you with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is a two-part foil. So what I would suggest is taking a sticky note or something like that. Cover up one part of it. Ignore that part, because we know how to do this. This is just FOIL. Okay, so x times x, x squared, x times 5, 5x. And the other part, this times this, and this times this. So there's four things, they all get multiplied. That's all it is. Okay, now that's four things. Now we can actually simplify this a little bit. These two things both are x's, so we're going to 5x plus 3x, 8x, and then plus 15. All right, what about the part we forgot? Well, we didn't forget it. We covered it up. Bring this part down, 2x plus 1, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, now, a lot of stuff going on here, so I think having um, maybe a different color might help to highlight what's going on here. 2 is going to get multiplied by this, 2 is going to get multiplied by that, and 2 is going to get multiplied by that. Okay, so there's three things here. And two things here, that means there is a total of six things that we're going to come out with. So 2x times x squared, that's 2, and x times x squared, x to the third. We have three x's. 2 times 8, 16. x times x, x squared. 2 times 15 is 30, and it had an x. Okay, so there we are with that. What about the 1? Okay, so the 1 also needs to go times the x, times the 8, times the 15. Okay, so 1 times the x, sorry, x squared, x squared, 1x squared, we'd say. Uh, 1 times the 8, 8x, and 1 times the 15, 15. Okay, so now we got this giant thing. It does get better. These are the same, and these two are the same. So we can combine those. 2x cubed, then the x squared, 16x squared plus the 1x squared gives you 17x squared. And the exponents don't change because we're adding together just 16 of these plus 1 of these is 17 of these. All right, same thing here. 30x plus 8x gives you 38x and plus 15. Okay, so here's what we end up with at the end after we foil it out. So what exactly did we do here? Well, we actually went from factored form to standard form. And eventually, eventually, we want to get comfortable going backwards and forwards. If it's given to you factored, Sorry, factored, foil it out to get a standard. If it's given to you standard, take that and reverse this. We have not learned the reverse process, but that's sort of where we're going with this. So you know. All right, thanks for watching, and hope this helps, and good luck, and um, happy studying for the rest of uh, 3.2 and for the quiz tomorrow. All right, have a great afternoon.